Okay, so I apologize for the wind in advance. It's really windy today, but I got to keep working on this. And what I'm going to show you today is how I'm repairing this hole that had this elevator bolt in it. That's what these are called, elevator bolts. Okay, but I couldn't find any this size. Uh, so I ended up going with some standard carriage type bolts. I drilled this out with a one and a half inch hole saw. That left a roughly the same size as this. It's a little bigger, I'll have to sand it off of this hole saw. This is one and three quarters. And then to relieve for the head of the carriage bolt because this lays underneath this wall, I'll use this Forstner bit to relieve for the head of the carriage bolt. And then I don't have room to get my drill in here to drill the three eighths hole through that I need. So I'm gonna use this long drill here, and use it as a pilot and get down through the wood and then drill up from the bottom. So I went and got the inch and a half hole saw and we're gonna clean this up as best we can. Come on. Hmm, maybe I can come, I'm trying to not remove this wall if it's at all possible. Turning the right way? I am, okay. <laughs> sure is tough. Man, that's some hard wood. That's a good thing, but there it goes, finally. So I've got some 40 grit paper here, and we're just gonna sand this guy off till it fits in the hole. It shouldn't take much. That's a good old hole in power. Gotta get some electricity. Are we ready yet? Couple minutes of sanding. And it fits pretty good. So I did cut, I did sand a little chamfer around that edge. Okay. Just sort of go in the hole nicely. So there's some garbage in that hole. I'm gonna get that out of there. Give me just one second. Do I have enough hose? That's the question I have. Can we all see? I don't know if I have enough hose. Let's come up here. So we'll get this glued in, then we'll have to wait a minute to drill this one, but we'll do these others real quick. Just a little bit of your favorite glue, exterior rated. You could use construction adhesive if you have a mind to, but this will work just fine. And then I saw the plug drop, there it is. Call that good, we'll sand that off in a bit, as soon as it dries out. So I went with these four inch grade eight stainless steel carriage bolts. I couldn't find any of the elevator bolts. The other two are gonna be paid. So I needed to get those bolts in place so I could finish building this wall out. So I wanted to make sure these are really stout because that's where the jack system is going to sit and I want to just, you know, I want to make sure they're structurally sound. And so that's why I went to all the effort to cut the plug and do all that. So while I'm thinking about it, if you wouldn't mind giving me that thumbs up, I'd appreciate that. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe, ring the notification bell. Lots of great videos still to come on the truck camper renovation here. 
We're just getting started, so you don't want to miss an episode. Be sure and subscribe, ring that notification bell. If you'd like to support the channel in other ways, I'd greatly appreciate you visiting Amazon through my store link in the description below. Remember, as an Amazon affiliate, I get a small commission, but you pay the same price, and every little bit helps. So thanks for that. You'll have to wait till the next video to see the structural repair start. Until then, thanks for watching. I sure do appreciate it. Until we get together for another RV how-to video, peace, 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 peace. Okay, bye.